What we're looking at are all of the pieces that I have remaining from planners of over the years. But starting in the middle of December is when I start thinking about what planner I want to use and how I'm going to use that all year and be the most productive. I said I was going to use what I have. So let's look at what I have. I have these days of the week of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the front, Thursday, Friday, and weekend on the back. They're meant for a three whole binder. I don't remember. I mean, this is, this is years ago, years old. So I thought, well, let's use these up. Okay. So that's something I have these from another planner. These are just little stickers, you know, with the days, the numbers, the months, more stickers with the dates, the months, days of the week. Let's get into showing you in here. This folder is where I keep all of my stuff. And I have organized it already. I went through and I found everything that matched. So this was a fitness tracker. So this is an exercise food, a weekly food and exercise log. You can track your water intake. You can track what you ate that day, the exercises you've done, super motivational. I used it for about two weeks and then stopped using that. So those are the remaining pieces of that. Okay, so then I went through and I put all like things together and I already did this, I already put it by paper clips and I noticed like these were some graph paper, here's some lined paper. This one is more of a jotted down section, top priorities, thankful for, and then daily to do's on the back. So that's what those are. And these are just blank lined paper. Now you can see what this is meant for is the happy planner. But let me take you even to the other parts here. And the last bit that's in here are these which is eight and a half by 11 and says you got this and these are just lined paper same format same binding i have that whole punch so it works with this size or this size and so the eight and a half by 11 full sheets because i wanted to go bigger because i wanted to see more things on the page so when i had all of this in this envelope i thought i had a lot to work with when i started putting everything in these groupings and when i put the paper clip and put this all together i started to realize most of this if not all of this are just blank pages there is nothing related to the week the only one is probably this one which is daily to do's but there and maybe this one has some top priorities but otherwise 90 percent of this is just blank paper i could make this what i need it to be but what's the difference between this and a notebook so that's when i started realizing that yes i will probably use this up but probably more in a i just need something to write on a list i need a piece of paper as opposed to this actually working as a planner this is the current binder the current planner i was using and i used this all year actually and it was the same kind of concept where i was going to piece things together I started to put different lists of things, video ideas, editing ideas, some to-do lists. So you can see I really got into the lined paper. I thought, oh, I'll use the calendar because I love this wide spread like this, a two page for one month. Never really used it. In fact, I took out all the months, um, probably three months in. I just realized that was not how I was looking at a month. What I actually did was I took a month I have this month on spiral and I just printed, and this is actually where I use the stickers. I actually printed these, there's um, a book, like I said, there's a spiral book of just these blank pages for the month. There's no date on here, the, there's no numbers. Um, so it's perfect to start any month and I just make a photocopy, then I put my stickers on, I use it for the month. What I liked about this is it was able to go into any notebook. You know, I could put it here. I did not put the binding, I left it alone because I just wanted it to kind of just rest in there. And that's how I worked through looking at things at more of a quarter at a glance. I like that better than just seeing this and then having to go to the next month. And it just just wasn't working for me. Also, I have to tell you, these, these binder rings, they're great, but see, it's not easy to close. And so I'm always like trying to pull over the sheets, 
pull over the, it's, it's not easy, it's not fluid. So then I started putting sheets on top of here and putting them on the rings because those were the sheets I would access the most. But it just wasn't, it wasn't great. It was functional, it helped, but it wasn't great. And so I'm trying to move into greatness for 2024. I went through all my elements and kind of saw all these pieces and realized that most of the stuff I have were blank line paper. I decided at that time that I was not going to piece it together. I was not going to use this binder. I was online looking through things and I actually found a planner that looked like it was going to be what I was looking for. What am I looking for? I realized by going through many years of planning process, I like to see everything together. I like to see my months and my weeks and my day. I discovered something online. It is on its way. I'm going to share with you when it gets here. It is the Laurel Denise planner and it is going to be totally new for me. It probably took me up to two weeks to make a firm decision on it. I am one that if I have all these things, why would I buy a planner? But I knew I went a whole year trying to piece things together. And while I did do it for the whole year, it wasn't the best way. So I am hoping that this new planner will be the thing for me. I am going to probably for work, use up these sheets. I may, you know, just have them at my desk because even though I have a planner, I just, I am a, I'm list obsessed. I just love lists. Sometimes I write things in three different places, the same item, cause it's the satisfaction of getting to cross it off. And I, it seems so silly, but sometimes I write it down three times so I can cross it off three times and it's the same task. So that's, that's where I'm at. We'll get that planner. It will be awesome. And here it is. This beautiful box, Laurel Denise sticker. Right. And look inside. Planners for the way you think. That's what it says right there. Okay, we're gonna set the box to the side. Okay, I'm just going to continue to open it, but I'm going to give the full view in a different angle, but let's just get it out of the bubble wrap. Oh, looky there. Okay, Laurel Denise Planner, Vertical Weekly Edition, 2024. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, we're going to get into showing you my new favorite thing. So let me show you the insides. A full eight and a half by 11 pocket on the left. So that's already part of the cover. I have these two rulers that can be placed on any play page. You are here, ruler, and then you are also here because sometimes you want to mark two places in your book. So, and in your planner. So we'll put those. Then what you see here, we have the months. These are laminated and they have the months January to December. Here is the planner so I can put my name there if found, but this will not leave the home. So hopefully it won't get lost. Okay, starting in our planner, we have the 2024 holidays. We have a goal and thing to remember or things to remember for each month of 2024. So once again, a goals and things to remember block for each month. And then on the right side, special dates and events. Now let's look at certain things. Let's see already. So much better on closing. So I'm already liking that. What else do I like about it? Easy to bend around. This pocket is extra nice. I know in the Happy Planner you can add pockets, but it's nice it's already part of the book. All right, let's go past this page and now let's get into January and all the months follow the same. So on the left here we have the month all 
as a calendar, just the current month. So this is January. And then what we have in the middle are vertical days of the week, Monday, and it starts with Monday, or you can have it start with Sunday. I start Monday and then to Sunday. And you have here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then to do this week. Now, the one thing that was the primary selling point for me, and that is the way these sheets are a quarter of the page and they flip so you could see every week of that month with your month. So we see our next week and our last week and at the very back of all those weeks, still on the same month spread, I have habit trackers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven habit trackers from one to 31. So seven habits to track for that month. Awesome. Okay. On the other side, so remember we flipped our quarter pages. On the other side, it's all blank. So if I want to take notes or if I want to sketch or whatever I want to do, blank. And then up here to do this month. So a running to-do list, keep things in front of me. And then I can actually put it in and then I can do time blocking. What's great about this is nothing is put in here except the days of the week at the top. Nothing else is blocked. Nothing else is labeled. It is all up to you. Same with this, nothing labeled here. And then this does say to do this month, but you could easily, if you didn't want it to be that, you could easily put washi tape over that or something else and make it your own section. So for that aspect, very customizable, you know, to put, you could put different parts of the day, you can put work personal, you can do all sorts of things. You can break it out into food, you know, what I'll probably use up here might be meal plan, but we'll get into that. We'll get into what I'm going to use each of the spots on the page for like this blank part and to do this month. Then when you're done, you have plan ahead. So you do have this section plan ahead for and you have 2025. So you see all the dates so you can once again plan ahead. Then there's some reflection sections here. This is yearly wins and yearly lessons. So you can populate this, put this here. Once again, you can cover that if you want it to be something else. But that's yearly wins and yearly lessons, which I really like that. I like that it's kind of a reflection and you can fill this out all throughout the year. You don't have to wait to the end of the year. You could do it at any point. And I really like that. I'm a big believer in documenting your wins, your achievements, your what, even what you've done. Because um, sometimes it's so easy to forget all the things we do. Um, we tend to think we don't do much. We tend to think we're not doing enough. And if you list it, I used to like list the highlights of each month that I did. And, you know, it's what's relevant to you. But it's so great to look back and go, oh my gosh, I achieved so much in a month, so much in a year. Okay, so that's that then you have just a double sided here two page of just graph paper and you can do whatever you want sketch write notes put post-it notes whatever you'd like to do another two pages of the same so that's four and then you have the dotted uh paper here so this is dotted lines two pages of that all blank no titles no bullet points another two pages so that's four of the dotted lined okay then the very last page is more again of reflections you can fill this out any point of the year they are listed as books i'm reading things i'm listening to happy moments gratitude hobbies ways i'm moving my body i'm excited for and i'm hopeful for once again you could put little labels over those if you want your own and i might consider doing that um, but right now I'm going to see if any of these actually inspire me to, you know, write anything in these areas. We also have her information, Laurel Denise and her copyright information. This would be maybe good to put um, a piece of paper over that. So you could also use this as a list location to utilize, you know, what you have here. And so that is there and then once again another pocket full eight and a half by 11 so you put a full sheet of paper in here and it is attached to your back cover so you can put items here and you can also put items in the front and i love how fluid that opened because a lot of times when you have a full binder like that they get stuck now so 
we're going to hopefully it all the flipping back and forth I do will keep the binding intact um, and the spiraling in place. So I'm really hoping this all, see it all at a glance, have the month, the weeks, and notes here on one layout and we're all in front of me will be so helpful and will be the thing that I've been missing and I've been looking for. So that's what we're hoping for with this planner. I do realize some of this is small, some of this is pretty tiny, so I'll probably need my readers. Um, these um, calendar blocks are probably a little over an inch, using my thumb as a measure, probably an inch and a quarter. And so that's not a lot if you're using calendars for like writing what you've done and highlights and things like that. I don't usually, I usually just put two or three things like what's happening. My days of the week are actually where I put the detail, which is why I really like this because I'm into time blocking, I'm into scheduling, and then I'm also into list making. So lots of lists I can see going here. I do see post-it notes being a part of this um, because of how I can put things and just take them out. And that's also how they, um, they actually guide you and tell you that one of the first things to do before you start writing anything in your planner is to get post-it notes and that's what I'm going to do next. The planner design people actually came up with this stamp to help in the process of customizing your planner. Okay, so they said make post-it notes of the things you want to track in your planner and here are mine. Meal plan ideas. So just thinking ahead of all the things either I'm craving or that if we're on keto, I'm trying to put those meals in a list. So that's an ongoing list. Menu per day. That's what we're going to eat every day of that week. Okay. Or every day. And then habits. I got some habits. I do want to track my water intake, you know, making sure I'm drinking my water and making sure I fit in strength training. So that's another habit. Okay. I always like to think about the top three things I have to get done for the day. I do keep that on my phone, but I don't know. It would be nice if at each day I see my top three. Um, so that's one of them. Okay. I do a lot of editing of videos and I am on YouTube here. So videos to do for the month, like videos I want to achieve and do all that month, then videos and editing, editing schedule. So like videos, uh, I'm going to do like what day of the week am I actually editing? And then video ideas, once again, a running list. I've got brain dump because sometimes I just need to write Maybe tasks came up and I just need to have a running list that I could put it in and then put it in the right place. Things to buy, once again, an ongoing list. And then I just have these. These are more like, more like not really goals, but they're like set things I want to have all throughout the year on the calendar. One is one big item to achieve. Usually if that means a big trip, a big achievement, a big goal. So that's one big for the whole year. Five adventures. It doesn't have to be big out adventures. I saw this from another uh, person on YouTube. I watched their video and I was pretty inspired by this concept about the one big item, five adventures. Um, I think it was five. It was every other month. So maybe that's not five. That's actually um, six. So maybe I'll change that. Six adventures and then four new habits for the year. All right. I need a weekly scheduled template. I want to know a framework of every uh, day of the week. So like Monday is my reset day. Did you all know that? Monday is my reset day. It's the day I go on the bike at night. I know at seven o'clock I'm going to go on that bike. I know I'm going to stay on there for at least an hour and a half to two hours. And I know what I'm doing on that bike is I'm going through my Gmails. I'm going through all the administrative stuff on my laptop. Because I'm on the laptop all day, five days a week, I'm always on my computer. There are not many days during the week in the evenings unless I said it, which is my Monday reset day, that I actually get back on a computer and go through the administrative stuff. You know the things, cancel memberships, pay a bill, look at different things. That is my Monday reset day. I'd like to do that for the rest of the week. All right, monthly goals. As you know, this already says to do this month, so that's kind of the monthly goals, but I just want to make sure I have a place for it in my planner. So that's everything I came up with. Now I'm going to assign it in specific places in this planner until it feels right to me where I am feeling good about where it's placed and I'll go from there. Some of these I know right away like habits, definitely tracking water and I'm definitely going to be tracking my strength. So I have to determine are the rest of these going to be habits? Are they things 
um, or am I gonna track something else? I know those two are definitely going there every week. Now, monthly goals, that's really good because I'm gonna put my monthly goals here, as well as, remember, at the beginning, I love this, love, 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 because I had this in my previous planner, I've made it myself, which was when I'm trying to get done that month, I also like the things to remember. So that is gonna be monthly goals. It's already set up for that. In fact, let's go ahead and know that I am using that for sure. This is a set thing. I think this will get set. This is my one big item, my adventures, which really for me, adventures are like concerts, Chiefs football game, um, you know, different things like that. So I think I'm gonna pinpoint those around here and determine goals will probably be a habit. Okay, so I think I found a good spot for that. Now we're looking at brain dump. This might be a place, uh, I'm not sure, maybe this is brain dump. Maybe I might have just a little post-it note each month with things to buy. And then I can peel it off and either take it with me, add it to my phone and have a running list. So I think that's gonna go here on a post-it note, brain dump. Videos to edit, my videos I'm gonna do, my schedule is gonna go actually on the calendar. So I know which video I should be working on in which week. It will also go here. And it will also go here in to do this month. So in fact, I got it right here. Videos to do of the month. Okay. Meal plan ideas, video ideas, and my schedule template. I'm thinking, and it's the only thing so far I wish. I wish there were blank pages. I wish there were notebook paper the lined paper and the grid paper. I wish that was right here in the beginning. The only thing is the running list will have to be in the back, um, but that's okay. I will probably do video ideas. Um, I'll probably leave that for two pages. Let's see what else we got here. Yep, meal plan ideas. And then I'm thinking this would be a great place to put my weekly template and my blocking out so I know, like I said, that reset day, I know what other days, what parts of the day are kind of blocked out. So I'm probably going to put my little, you are also here, right here. So I can get to these pages. Let's see how, how well I can get to them. Pretty quickly, I like that, I like that so much. All right, and then this one will go where we are in time, which I am starting my planning a little late because I decided this a little late, but we are actually at the end of this week. We're actually a Sunday, but what I'm gonna do is actually start planning it starting tomorrow on a Monday. Oh, I love this. I do love it. I found homes for everything. Okay, the last decision it seems like we have to make is our top three of the day and menu per day. And I think because the way I think about that top three, I'm thinking that will probably exist up here. And I'm thinking the very bottom will have what we're eating. And actually, I think it makes sense to make that as part of the time blocking because sometimes we go out, you know, we might be going out after work. So I think it makes sense to see that in this kind of bottom quadrant of the days of the week. So there, that just made sense in my head as we were talking and as I was showing this to you. It's all starting to come together. I'm going to start using um, pencil. I do this in pencil, but I am considering um, erasable pens. That is not what this is. I will not be using a real pen. I only did that for my post-it notes here so you could see those, but 99% of the time I use these pencils. I've been using these for years and years and years. It's how I write everything. Um, it is actually proven to me. I did try to even incorporate a rocket book piece of paper because I loved this binding because it was so adaptable and customizable. But I did realize when I don't have that pen or I don't have that cloth to wipe it off, this has stayed like this probably all year because I couldn't 
erase it, move things around, and it became just a permanent sheet in my planner. And I didn't like that at all. So pens, no, even erasable ones, maybe if I treat them like my pencil, I erase all the time. I've seen people use whiteout um, because they didn't like the, maybe the, you could still see sometimes little remnants of your pencil marks. I'm probably gonna do pencil if I find it's too faint, um, if I find I don't like it and I do want erasable pens, there are some that Laurel, Denise, um, they do have in their shop. They also have some inserts as well. Now, one thing that didn't make it to the list, I just realized, was this. And I think this is my goals for the whole year. Um, we do have, remember, we have that monthly per month. Um, maybe I just put here the, the goals. It says special dates and events, but I don't really... I don't really have a lot of those and I would just do that um, per month. What I may do is rewrite this list and actually put it here. And then I know this is my 2024. These are my monthly goals. This is everything I wanna achieve. And then, yeah, I think I just talked myself into that. I'm really loving this. I love that I pieced this out. Their suggestion was spot on. I think they're right. If I had started, I would have been frustrated to know I'd put something in the wrong spot. One thing I'm not sure is, will this go to work? I go to work, I go to the office two days a week. Will this go with me? Because this will be my ongoing brain. And what if I have a thought? So that's the question we'll answer and we'll see. You know, one thing I've learned, um, just buying a new planner gives you a good fresh start. It gives you something, a new perspective, a new way to think about things, look at things, do things. I will take you along the journey, just starting week one. Thanks so much for tuning in this long and being a part of it. I can't wait to share more with you. Be sure to subscribe to be notified when future videos come out. Thank you so much again for watching.